Don't forget to check out my website, sacredthemanga.com, where you can read chapters of my manga for free and see what it is that I do for a living. So I hope you'll check out my site, guys. And yes, I did draw this myself. You've bought your professional manga or comic paper. You're super excited to get it out of the packaging and get started on your manga or comic. But if you're like most people, you took one look at your new paper and thought, what do all of those blue guidelines mean? Hello my dears, my name is Lisbeth Dar Jimenez. I am a published American mangaka and I created this channel to help you guys learn how to make your own manga or comics, learn how to get published, and how to draw as well as sharing my life experiences as a published author here in the States. And a number of you have expressed to me that you're very confused about how to actually use all these blue lines all over your new manuscript paper. And believe me, it's really confusing at first for people trying to figure it out on their own. But don't worry, I'm going to help you guys out. I'm going to explain what each of those lines are for and how publishers expect you to use those lines because how you use the lines or misuse the lines is going to affect how your book is going to be printed and what your pages are actually going to look like when they are printed. So pay close attention and I hope my video will be super super helpful for you guys and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and found it useful and do not forget to subscribe in case you want to see more how to make comics and manga videos and how to get published videos. So let's get started guys! This is what a sheet of manga and comic paper looks like. But let's first talk about manga paper. Manga paper comes in two different sizes. The smaller size is used by amateurs for doujinshi, while the other is used by professionals for manga and tankuban. But we'll go more into that in a future video. Um, I'm not aware of an American equivalent to Japanese doujinshi paper, but if you guys happen to know of any, please feel free to leave the brand name or anything like that down there in the comments below. Also, be aware that the measurements of the manga and comic paper are different because American comics have different trim sizes than Japanese manga. So the manuscript paper will be proportionate to the books they will soon become when printed. So keep the size you want your book to be when choosing your manuscript paper. Do you want it to be the size of an American comic or a Japanese manga? You have to keep this in mind when choosing your manuscript paper. Now, moving on. Look at your manga or comic paper. You'll notice all of the guidelines are printed blue. This is so they won't show up when scanned or copied. Around the edges of your paper, you'll find rows of numbers. This will assist you while measuring panels. So don't worry about drawing any lopsided panels. You'll notice there is a solid line and a dotted line on your paper. The space between the number line and the solid line is the trim zone. When books are printed, a quarter of an inch is trimmed off of the edges of the pages. So, when drawing on manuscript paper, remember you can draw up until the number line, but try not to draw crucial things like faces in this area. And remember not to add any dialogue in this area. They will be trimmed off. To learn more about how and why pages are trimmed when printed, please watch my video, What is a Full Bleed Page? It's the very first link in the description below. The space between the solid line and the dotted line will not be trimmed when printed, but be sure to keep speech bubbles away from the solid line and closer to the dotted line, unless you want your speech bubble to extend beyond the edge of the paper. These six rectangles are where publishers would add the page numbers. Some books have their page numbers on the top or on the bottom, only in the center or only in the corner of the page. It's really up to you and your publisher. Notice how the dotted lines sit comfortably between the rectangles? This is so you can use them as a template for a page that looks like this. And that's it guys! 
So I hope that this really cleared things up for you. I hope that you'll be able to sit down at your drafting table or desk or couch or wherever you like to draw and you'll be able to look at your new manuscript paper with hope and a twinkle in your eye because now you know what all those guidelines mean. So again, if you found this video useful and you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up right there. It only takes a second, you guys. And if you want to see more videos from me like this and you want to continue to learn about this awesome publishing and manga and comics industry through me, please do not forget to subscribe so you will not miss out on all the fun tutorials. If you have any suggestions for any videos you'd like me to do, or you have any more questions about how to use manga and comics paper, please feel free to ask me right there in the comments below and leave your suggestions down there as well. And if I'm really, really like interested in your comment or I find it really useful for my subscribers, I may actually make a video response to your question. So do not forget to leave your comments and suggestions. Don't forget to follow me on social media like Instagram where I share my artwork with you guys every day. And don't forget to check out my site sacredthemanga.com where you can read chapters of my manga for free and see what it is I do for a living. So until next Thursday guys, please take care, God bless, and do not be afraid to nerd out. Please take care guys and enjoy making your comics and mangas.